Um, so, uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Trish Wetzel, and I'm the outreach coordinator for the National Center for Biomedical Ontology. And um, so, how many people have heard of NCBO? Okay, there's a few people, a good good amount. Um, so, for those who who are not familiar with NCBO, I just wanted to point out that uh, the mission of our center is to create software for the application of ontologies in biomedical science and clinical care. And our main partners are our PA, PI of NCBO is Mark Musen at Stanford University, uh, Chris Shute. Is it working? Is it? Uh, Chris Shute uh, uh, from the Mayo Clinic, um, Barry Smith from the uh, University of Buffalo, and Peggy uh, Story from the University of Victoria. And so N NCBO is one of eight national centers for biomedical computing funded under the NIH Roadmap Initiative. And again, um, our main group is, is located here at Stanford. Uh, so the main application that we've built is, is called BioPortal. And so you've heard of a couple talks reference um, uh, where you can um, access their, um, uh, their ontology from, uh, from, from BioPortal. And um, so BioPortal is a web-based system to access and search and visualize and do a lot of neat things with ontologies. Uh, now this web, uh, this web UI is driven by a set of web services, and so that's what I'd actually um, um, going to focus on. So we've developed a number of web services to access ontologies as well as use them um, in in applications and, and, and applications um, uh, from 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 these. Uh, so we have web services to access the ontologies. Um, we have a set of web widgets. Um, we have uh, the annotator web service and a couple of others here to create ontology-based annotations, um, as well as the resource index, which provides access to ontology-based um, annotations. So I'll go th um, through each of these um, briefly here as an overview. So to start off with the um, web services accessing ontologies, so first of all, there is the search web service, and this is one of the, one of the more popular web services that we provide. So there are a total of about five million um, ontology terms over the 280 or so ontologies in BioPortal, and uh, so there's a search web service, and this has a number of different parameters to limit your search to either uh, exact match or non-exact, and whether you want to just look for a term ID or the term name. Um, also, uh, you, can, you can group ontologies if you want to only search those across the UMLS or the Oboe Foundry or things like that. Um, so a number of data annotation applications utilize the search web service. So once you find a, a, a term of interest, um, you, you can then call the, the term web service and this actually then gets you the properties and, and more details about the term, synonyms, definition, um, for example. We've also developed a set of hierarchy web services, and these are basically, I like to think of these as sort of short, um, uh, shortcut um, uh, in web service in a sense that, um, so the term web service itself tells you what the parents and the children are, but rather doing that recursive call. Um, we have these hierarchy web services, so on one shot you can say, um, given the term heart, you know, and tr you know, traverse two layers up the, up the hierarchy, what are the parents or what are the children, or what are the siblings of that given term. So just it's, it's, a, it's a little more efficient way to get access to that information. Uh, we also have uh, mapping web services, and there's also a number of parameters there to filter uh, the results um, so that you're not being overwhelmed um, by unwanted data, um, uh, since there are a, a number of mappings as well. Um, there's the notes web services, so if there's any ontology um, developers or curators here in the audience, so you can actually um, make comments on the ontology term or propose new terms, and this gets filtered back to the ontology developers themselves. Um, and we also have a, a web service here to get um, RDF for ontologies, and so this can be for the ontology itself um, or for individual terms. And so we've also, um, we do have a, a prototype Sparkle endpoint, but we're in the uh, process now of refactoring the, the underlying BioPortal architecture to provide this as a triple store. Um, we've also developed a number of widgets to make it easy to incorporate ontology terms within web-based data annotation forms. Um, so we have a form autocomplete widget 
And um, this is actually pretty neat because you can parameterize it to either return back um, the full URI of the term or just the term identifier, or if for some reason you're only interested in the text string, um, you can also do that. Uh, we also have widgets. If you want to visualize an ontology on your own website, um, you can incorporate either this graph uh, widget or the, or the tree widget. Um, next, I want to talk about the annotator web service. And so basically the idea behind this is getting, given a, f a set of free text data, um, what ontology terms exist, um, exist within that. And so this web service will provide you with those details. Um, and then lastly, the, the resource index. So what we've done is we've taken a number of publicly available biomedical databases and we've developed a resource access tool and basically that's an um, uh, um, uh, it, it accesses the resource, and given the fields of interest that the person who has developed this resource access tool has, uh, has said are, are, are of interest or have textual metadata, it pumps these through the, um, the NCBO annotator, and then we store those ontolo ontology annotations locally. Uh, so if anyone's interested in this, um, we are actually expanding the number of resources, so be happy to talk to anyone about um, building a resource access tool. Um, and so then once we store these um, uh, locally, um, then we, ha we have, in BioPortal, we have a um, web UI to search these, as well as a number of web services. So you can, um, given an ontology term, you can search for all resources that have been annotated. Um, with that ontology term, um, uh, you can also say, um, give me a resource identifier, um, get me back all of the ontology to annotations that you've, that you've identified um, in, the, in the fields that you've annotated. Um, so lastly, I want to point out that so there's uh, a number of applications and groups that we've been working with and that are incorporating the, uh, the NCBO web services um, into, their tool, into their tools. So this is a subset of these here. <coughs> And then lastly, I want, want to um, thank the organizers uh, for, for having me here, and just a few um, URLs uh, that may be of interest. Um, so some details on how to, to use uh, the web services within your own project, um, documentation on the web services, um, how you can keep in touch with what NCBO is doing, um, new releases, um, a, a Twitter um, account, as well as uh, we just started a Facebook account uh, last week. Uh, so come join, uh, come by and, and like NCBO. Um, I'll, we'll also field questions at the support email below. Thanks. There's not a, an ontology of ontologies. Uh, just one thing I, I, I would throw back out there that um, uh, so one of the other web services I didn't have it in this talk is an ontology recommender. So given a, 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 a corpus of text, you can actually um, send that to the ontology recommender and, and ask uh, what ontologies best cover this data. So I think that gets at a little bit of what you're, what you're leaning towards. So we do have them, them grouped and we do have the mappings and so we're going to be um, working towards actually building up this mega thesaurus based on the mappings. Uh, so it's, uh, I think some of those things uh, uh, are geared towards what, what, what you're asking for. <laughs> 